Hey, good evening, everybody. I made it back up here to the Henry County Emergency Management Office. And if you do not know as of right now, we've got parts of Bates County, Northwest St. Clair County, and about half of, uh, including the town of Clinton, half of Henry County under a special weather statement. Special weather statement shows gusty winds could knock down tree limbs, blow around unsecured objects up to 40 miles per hour with penny-sized hail. And we are currently watching this for signs of any intensification. There is also a very strong cell over near Jefferson City that is putting down up to baseball size hail, as well as one going into St. Louis that you see here on your screen. That is a monster supercell. Right now, we are just under what's called a uh, kind of a mega complex right now in which we've got, uh, uh, we've just got this big conglomerate of rain and thunder showers, and we are just now beginning to tap into those low level, low level jet winds that is causing these things to begin to spin. So, also watching a cell down near Lamar, right down here where my cursor is at. Um, that is moving off to the north, northeast. Looks like it's running at about, uh, let's see how fast it's moving here. It's moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. So, that will eventually head its way up into St. Clair and Benton County, but... Uh, right now, the strongest cell here in West Central Missouri, outside of that one, is the one going through Appleton City, Montrose, and into Henry County right now. Most of these storms are pretty electrified. A lot of cloud-to-ground lightning. Of course, I witnessed that on our uh, on the way on the way home from Uric, Missouri. So, I am going to expand this out just a little bit and look off to our southwest and again I'm looking at a lot of the same data that you are as well at for the first time as I just got off of my day job So if you guys notice these cells down here in Oklahoma, um, these are all moving to the northeast. These will be affecting us possibly a little later on. Uh, like around the 9 p.m. hour, we'll be watching for signs of strengthening. Uh, that low-level jet is just going to continue to get stronger through the course of the evening so uh but it didn't kick in till late so you know kind of our prime time to see the really strong severe storms i feel is pretty much have gone and passed now that these storms are starting to get their act together um coming through uh coming through west central missouri but we are continuing to watch it down here live from the Henry County Emergency Management Office. We are currently in Henry, St. Clair, and Bates County under a special weather statement for winds up to 40 miles per hour and penny size hail. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just split this screen so we can take a look at velocity radar as well. As you guys know, very plays a very critical role in finding areas of rotation within a thunderstorm. And I apologize with me being down here at emergency management office. Um, I am not up to date right now on chat 
So you guys are going to have to bear with me just a little bit on that. Very broad rotation with these thunderstorms that are moving through parts of Bates, St. Clair, and Henry County right now with another cell in Vernon County that will be moving into our area here within the next 45 minutes. So be keeping an eye on all these cells as they move through west central Missouri. And again, you see where the reds and the greens are coming together. Those are areas of rotation. But notice they're, they're rather large. So we're looking for a very, very small couplet um, giving us indication that there could be some lower level rotation associated with these thunderstorms. So bear with me here. I'm going to kind of manipulate my screens around, see uh, see who is chatting out there, kind of get take a look at the short-term model, see what it's showing. So I just wanted to jump on here as fast as I could since we were put under that special weather statement for parts of West Central Missouri. I will keep this up on the screen while I kind of manipulate these screens around a little bit. We have backup generators as well as battery backups for our systems down here at the emergency management office. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to come down <coughs> down here being such an electrified storm system. Um, I am noticing a hail core now just southwest of Clinton, northwest of Deepwater. Uh, could be getting some pretty good size hail out of that. Let's scroll down here. Put this in uh, right here. It looks like just south of Ledu along Highway T. And again, these are moving. These are moving to the northeast. So we can expect this cell to affect Clinton here within just the next few minutes. Can everybody hear me okay? Is the stream coming in okay? Uh, I don't have quite the bandwidth down here is what I do. Okay, thank you. Let's take a look at the hell core. For that, we go to the vertically integrated liquid. And there's our hell core. Now, this is just a hair behind actual radar. So, but that is our that is our hell core. Looks like probably penny size, maybe. Maybe just slightly larger. Another hell, uh, another hell core near Pleasant Gap. That will be moving into Henry County as well momentarily, affecting Hudson, Spruce, Appleton City, and Montrose again here in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. Yeah, I can hear the rain in the background as well. No, no tornado warnings uh, yet with any of these storms right now. And again, um, I think the low-level jet slowed down considerably because along the nose of that low-level jet, which I'll show here in just a moment, um, we needed that and it was expected to be here around 2.30, 3 o'clock. And that's what was really going to get these storms rotating to, uh, to give us a, uh, a better chance to see some, uh, some rotating supercells.
I'm just running through chat here real quick. Kind of expand this out just a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on around us here. And again, we've got another 288 minutes left on this tornado watch. Um, it will, it will, it, that's till 11 o'clock tonight. But we could, uh, we could very easily see a few of those counties begin to, uh, to, to be let go of before 11 o'clock tonight. But um, the big concern I have are going to be the storm down here in central Oklahoma. They're traveling 60 miles per hour to the northeast. So those are the storms just kind of kind of keeping my eye on as they move up into our area. Kind of put this into motion here real quick. Really getting some heavy rain here in Clinton now as that leading edge of that cell is making its way into the town of Clinton in Henry County. And again, no warnings right now other than a special weather statement for uh, Bates County, Henry County, and Northwest St. Clair County currently. You're on the edge of Henry and Benton on Z Highway. There's Z. No, but I hadn't, it hadn't made it to you yet. You're right here. Uh, you're probably just getting some light rain right now, but uh, you'll have some storms moving up in your direction here over the next 30, 45 minutes. All right, I'm, I am going to bring up a couple of short-term models, um, kind of see what, um, if taking some real-time data taken by the weather balloons, and we'll kind of see where that low-level jet is. So bear with me, and I'll bring it over for everybody to see here momentarily. Alright, we'll look at this together. I'm going to bring this over here. And this is the ARRR. This is updated every hour. We'll take a look. Of course, this is this conglomerate of rain and thunderstorms that we have going through our area right now. Let's put this into motion. Right up here is your time. This is 9 o'clock. So still some pretty strong thunderstorms out there at 9. Between 7 and 9 o'clock through west central Missouri that we'll be paying close attention to. That's some of those cells coming up from Oklahoma. Um, it does look like it's it could stay just south of west central Missouri down around, um, around the... 9, 10 o'clock hours when Springfield is supposed to have the shot to see some strong storms down around Springfield. So, um, like, you know, we can look at these models, but really we're kind of at a point where we're now casting. 
taking a look at radar, seeing how these storms are are moving. Um, let's take a look here at. Take a look at the low level jet. Yeah, you know, it's really not all that impressive right now. There there anywhere where you see the reds and the pinks, um, the dark reds, that's your low level jet winds, and that's what helps kind of kind of stir these things up there's a little finger that's going up here right around the nine ten o'clock time frame that's when we're going to be getting those storms in from central oklahoma um so we're not we're not out of the woods yet um but you notice down here right around the springfield area right around the nine o'clock time frame um you know it's, it's going to be coinciding with that line of storms to really help them uh, be able to rotate a little bit later tonight. Uh, the cell in Pittsburgh still severe. It is not. It is not. It's moved off to the east now, affecting. Uh, down around Lamar, Barton County, and up towards Stockton, and then eventually, uh, eventually up into parts of St. Clair County and parts of Henry and Benton County here over the next 45 minutes. The so special weather statement have been canceled for Henry County. Um, they're still allowing, there's one for the northwest corner of St. Clair County that is still going on uh, over Appleton City, 16 miles east of Butler, moving northeast at 50 for 40 mile per hour winds and penny size hail. So it'll be interesting, it'll be interesting to see, I actually have our director of emergency management uh, Brad Wright, he is down here as well, side by side with me, and he's uh, keeping an eye on uh, National Weather Service chat. Um, it'll be kind of interesting to see what they do once this little line of storms right here moves to our, to our east. If they're current thinking that these storms will really start to ramp up in Oklahoma as they make their way into Missouri and keep that tornado watch active through 11 o'clock tonight, or if, uh, you know, they might replace it with the severe thunderstorm watch. Uh, but most of the, most of the tornado threat right now um, is really going to be from about Vernon County over through Bolivar, Buffalo, and south uh, from, from what I'm seeing. But uh, National Weather Service will have final say on that. Uh, here over the next hour or so when these cells finally move out of our area. All right, I'll go through chat here real quick. Had a tornado on the ground in St. Louis. Let's just take a look here. Since we're, uh, we have a little bit of time here. Let me go ahead and move this over to full screen. Yes, they do. They do have a tornado warning. Let's take a look at what it says. That is radar indicated right now with 2 inch hail. So it is not confirmed right now. Over, uh, over, uh, let's see here. This is actually, that's near Freeburg. So, that's just southeast of Jefferson City, where that tornado warning is. Right now, radar indicated, still a severe thunderstorm warning near St. Louis, uh, with a big hail core. Let's take a look at the hail cores right here. Let's put it in 3D mode. 
These things are monsters. Yeah, that's some that golf ball size or bigger. Just northwest of Chesterfield. Look at those look at those tops on those things. Wow. Those are some very tall clouds as well. So what we can also do, what we can also do on this tornado warning, and the only reason why I'm doing this right now, guys, is because right now we don't, um, we have a little hail core come, getting ready to go through Appleton City. Uh, there's no rotation, just broad rotation associated with these cells in uh, Bates County going into Henry County right now. But some of the technology that we are able to do, let's go ahead and put this into radar mode. Hi, Misty. Good to see you. Uh, Windsor tonight, uh, same, as, same as the rest of us right now. We're kind of waiting for some of these storms to move up from Oklahoma as well as a couple strong storms here in West Central Missouri to move through. Have to bear with me for just a moment, guys. There's, uh, I uh, want to show you this here. This is the capabilities we have. Um, the bandwidth is not quite as fast, so it's taking just a little bit of time to load up here. Just got the Sedalia. Appleton City's having pretty good cell going through there right now. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to want to play ball tonight. But what you're able to do on that um, on that volumetric is you can actually see inside the storm to see any kind of inflow notch rotation. Kind of a kind of a neat setup. You better not be in a bathtub already. <laughs> Let's take a look at where that hill core is near Appleton City. We look for the purple spike. And then we just zoom down. So it looks like uh, all just to the west of Appleton City. Um, along Highway 52, Hudson. Uh, over to Pleasant Gap, Lindale, and then of course up to Appleton City. Um, looks like it's going to be coming into Mott Rose very shortly in southwest Center County. So that's where that hill core is currently located. Almost due over Appleton City right now. So if you're in Appleton City, Chime in. Let me uh, let me know what you're seeing. The National Weather Service has issued a special weather statement. All right. Well, we got another special weather statement coming up, and that one there is going to be for southeast central and southeast St. Clair County. That's going to include the towns of Osceola, Vista, Roscoe, and Wablo. Winds of 50 miles per hour and nickel-sized hail can be expected. Locations impacted Truman Lake, Stockton, Osceola, Jericho Springs, Collins, Roscoe, Vista, Caplinger Mills, 
and Cedar Springs. All right, for those of you that are joining in from Henry County Emergency Management page, thank you guys so much for being in here tonight. Uh, I am going to end the stream for those that are watching this from Henry County Emergency Management. Currently, Henry County is not under any sort of warning at this time. We are under a tornado watch till 11 p.m. as it stands right now. Um, I, uh, I am going to kind of hold off until this cell in Appalachian City to see if it's going to come up and continue with that hail core. But uh, I've got five streams running tonight concurrently. So uh, as soon as Henry County is out of the danger zone for this round, I will, uh, I will cease the live stream under Henry County Emergency page. But I will continue under Subby's Weather Talk. Um, until all of these cells are out of our listening area. Uh, and again, I am concerned about these storms down here in central Oklahoma that are making their way into southeast Kansas and eventually into west central Missouri, as well as these cells that are down to just to the south in Vernon County, St. Clair County, Barton County is where I'm kind of focusing right now. We do have a storm chaser. Um, that is our friend here at um, at Subby's Weather Talk, Brandon Coffey, and his sidekick. We also have uh, Nader Boys. They are out and about. They are live streaming on their Facebook page right now. Corey is set up near Lamar. Obviously, he can't see anything <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, I just X'd out of the whole dang thing, didn't I? Um, so that was Corey Gherkin. He is a storm spotter. Uh, Storm Chaser. He typically runs side by side with Brandon Kopic. And they are on that cell just south of Lamar along Highway 49. Let's, uh, let's take a look at See if we can find out where Nader boys are at here. Turn on spotter network. See if we can catch them out here chasing these darn things. I'm going to take a look at my messages here real quick as well. So it does look like, uh, let's see, what time was that? Uh, Looks like Nader Boys has got a, uh, they've got a wall cloud down just south of Lamar right now. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch. Okay, so it looks like the Storm Prediction Center might have updated the tornado watch box. We'll take a look at that here momentarily. There's Isaac right there. He is near Jasper looking toward this cell in Lamar. All right, so Brad... Brad had just given me a, uh, so they, they did, they did just issue a new tornado watch, guys. So, 
It is going to include most of West Central Missouri. Let me read what the National Weather Service has just put out. Um, they are going to continue the Tornado Watch 67 valid until 11 p.m. tonight for the following areas in Central Missouri, Cooper, Howard, Pettis, in West Central Missouri, Bates, and Henry. It includes the cities of Adrian, Boonville, Butler, Clinton, uh, New Franklin, Rich Hill, Sedalia, and Windsor. So they are going to continue to uh, keep this tornado watch alive through 11 o'clock for us here. Uh, most of us here in West Central Missouri, it looks like Johnson County and Cass County both have been relieved of this tornado watch for the remaining of the evening. Thank you, Brett. All right, check on chat here real quick. Large lightning strike six miles south of Sedalia. <laughs> Somebody said a tornado went through their house. The kids came home. <laughs> now that now I don't I don't storm chase those type of tornadoes. You caught the outside edge of the storm at Appleton. It was pretty brutal. Yeah. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty strong storm right there. Um, we've got another one going across Highway 13, uh, just east of Highway 13, east of Deepwater, uh, going through Appleton City, and eventually crossing the Henry County line. Hey, Alan. You're watching from their house in Clinton. Good, good. You've got a good, safe place to go. Okay, so... Um, the National Weather Service chat... Um, kind of give a little bit of reasoning behind ex the extending of the tornado watch. Uh, their wording says they removed a lot of county from the tornado watch, leaving behind the row from Bates, Henry, Pettis, and Cooper, and Howard to account for any potential increased development with the low-level jet interaction over the next few hours. So they are still... Uh, they're kind of have the same thinking as I do. This low-level jet is just kind of getting ramped up. And uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, the, the air is kind of stabilizing just a little bit because of all the rain and thunderstorms we've had. Um, but uh, because it's so strong, the potential is still out there, guys. So uh, we don't want to let our guard down quite yet. So, especially with the storms that will be coming up, um, they've, they've got a couple tornado warnings, looks like down here in Oklahoma, heading into uh, on the Kansas side. So, uh, we definitely need to keep weather aware here in West Central Missouri, and especially for our folks in, in Benton County. A lot of this is kind of taking an aim through St. Clair County into Benton County. So, especially for you folks down here in Vernon, St. Clair and Benton County, we still got uh, still got this powerhouse of a cell that's going to be moving through here over the next hour. I'll get back to chat here momentarily. Okay, so for those of you that are up north, um, 
National Weather Service says from surface observation, the cold front has cleared St. Joseph. Uh, you'll continue to see some rain with pockets of brief to moderate downpours over the next few hours where flooding concerns could be the primary problem up there north of Kansas City. Um, so that's a, that's a current word from the National Weather Service right now. All right, those of you down here in St. Clair County, let's take a look at this. This is going to be along Highway 54, just north of Blackjack and Highway W, uh, just south of Highway 54. There's a there's a pretty strong uh, there's a pretty strong hell core that is happening, um, nickel size, if not maybe a little bit bigger. So, very strong cell down here in St. Clair County, in which, just as I say that, they just issued a severe thunderstorm warning. The National warning. Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. So, that for this cell we just looked at just now, guys. So, that is, uh, that's going to include the towns of Roscoe, Osceola, Vista, Collins, Gerster, and Wablo. And that's for this cell right here that continues to intensify. So I will keep that up to keep close eye on for the, uh, the potential Potential to see some uh, any rotation associated with this. Cass County looking the rest of the evening. Actually, Cass County, uh, Cass County has been lifted from the tornado war or from the tornado watch for the rest of the evening. So um, it looks like Cass County uh, from Garden City, Harrisonville, and Johnson County includes Warrensburg, Holden, and those areas. Uh, you guys are pretty much out of the severe threat for the rest of the night in Cass County. Um, you can expect some moderate rain, some thunderstorms, but they should be below severe limit. As we're really watching, the main reason behind that, guys, is we're, we're really watching this area right here. This is kind of the nose of that, of that jet stream that is pumping in some winds coming from a different angle. A few thousand feet above our heads. Um, it's the low-level jet, so we're starting to get some low-level spin. We've noticed some some increase in hail signatures. A uh, little bit more, um, a little bit more when it comes to the rotational side of these thunderstorms. So uh, that's what we're watching for for the next couple hours. Yeah, in Warrensburg. Yeah, you guys were out of the tornado watch tonight. Just some generalized garden variety thunderstorms. This is by far the strongest cell that we have going through uh, St. Clair County now. Getting ready to cross Highway 13 near Osceola and Lowry City.
Sedalia is still in uh, Sedalia is still in the uh, tornado watch. Uh, there's no threatening storms right now in Pettis County. But uh, they, and again, these storms that are down here that are crossing into Kansas, these are, these are some strong cells that will eventually make their way right up here where that low-level jet is that uh, could, could provide a focus for a few more stronger storms later on tonight. But right now, Pettis County is in uh, no threatening storms up there, just uh, regular thunderstorms right now. No, it, you know, the this thing here doesn't have very good structure right now. Um, it's uh, it, uh, there's nothing there's nothing concerning about this right now, as far as uh, uh, a little hook, almost the Larry City, anything to worry about. Yeah, this this part right here, there's uh, we're we're doing that just some broad rotation, uh, nothing concerning right here. Where we would be looking for, say, a hook or a stronger or a stronger part of of the of the cell itself is going to be down here, down here where these storm chasers are at, because it this is actually inflow is coming into this cell. This is still untapped air down here, so it had not been raining very much. It's still warm air being pumped into it. So this right here would be uh, the focus point of any tornadic activity for the most part. And that's not saying one can't spin up up here, but I'm watching that very closely. Um, I do want to take a look at this little area right here. This, this is the area I'm looking at right here. So, um, put things in perspective, that is this area right here. So, this, this is the little area that I'm watching for little spin-ups. Yes. Yeah, we've already been through that, Jordan. They've canceled Tornado Watch for Cass County and Johnson County, including Warrensburg. South PP Highway. Right now, you're right now. There's uh, there's not much going on up here in Henry County. Just some old-fashioned thunderstorms right now in Henry County. Um, right now, the focus is St. Clair, and eventually up to Benton County. That's that's kind of our focus point right now with this cell right here. Uh, Nob Noster, uh, Tornado Watch, uh, under a Tornado Watch till 11 o'clock tonight. Right now, no threatening weather near Nob Noster right now. Um, Nob Noster is, is like right on the borderline of Pettis and Johnson County. So, Johnson's not into Tornado Watch, Pettis is. So I consider Knob Noster need to be weather aware just like you would if you're in Lamont. You're just too close. Same thing for Spruce. Uh, Spruce is under a tornado. Watch till 11 o'clock. You guys probably hear the birds. I filled up the uh, bird feeder down here at the office. On Saturday. Man, they're going to town. Alright, I'm going to jump over here. Why we got just a minute.
So Nader boys right now are uh, look like they're down just east of Jasper. They're still looking at this cell up here. Um, looks like uh, in Barton County, and it does have some. It does have some rotation down here, down toward the tail end of this same cell that we're looking at up here. And it still continues to get a little stronger. You notice all the purples. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. So they pretty much just, uh, they just update it. Um, so they did put a pretty serious tag on this, on this cell up here, guys. Um, from Osceola, Vista... Collins, they did put a tornado possible tag on this, and I'll tell you the reason why. That doesn't mean there's a tornado warning, but you notice, you notice right, uh, right here, uh, right where I'm circling at, right here, you see these little, you've got dark orange, you got green, it's pretty broad, but in situations like this where we have that low level jet coming in and causing these things to rotate little spin up tornadoes are possible so uh down around roscoe right now um this inflow gap right here is starting to close off a little bit um creating kind of a rain wrap situation so uh if you live down around the roscoe osceola Vista area. Um, know a very, very strong cell is moving into your area. It is not tornado warned, but these are one of these situations where a spin up could happen very, very quickly. A lot of messages, guys, and I, I'm going through chat. I'm also going through a few of my, um, a few of my personal messages as well. Several people are uh, are asking me questions as well, so uh, bear with me just a little bit as I make sure I get everybody answered their questions answered. And again, we have a uh, we have a, a, a pretty serious severe thunderstorm warning now for St. Clair County. Uh, if you live in Gerster, Vista, Osceola, Roscoe, Collins, know that a very strong storm is has is has come through or is going to get ready to come through your area. National Weather Service did put a tornado possible tag on this. That does not mean that there is a tornado warning. It just means because of the situation that we're in tonight with the low-level winds beginning to really ramp up that a spin-up tornado is very possible. And they're likely not going to issue a tornado warning because these things are going to happen so fast. Um, over here near Gerster, very strong uh, hell core right now. Uh, Osceola and Larry City. You guys in this area, um, I am seeing quite a bit of rotation, a little bit smaller rotation, um, a little bit tighter, so to speak. So keep that in mind, please. If you live in Osceola along Highway 13, this is a uh, this right here is a is a is a pretty strong indicator of some lower level rotation. Doesn't mean there's a tornado, but very strong cell getting ready to come into Osceola. I don't see anything else that is sticking out right now, except for this area. Let me highlight it. This area right here. So, uh, that's the area I'm kind of keeping an eye on right now. And that is the long highway B. 
Of course, Highway 1382 that runs through Osceola. State Highway B. I would not be surprised to see a little bit of wind damage. Maybe a few things knocked around in this area right now. I'm going to check Na National Weather Service. Right, nothing, nothing new yet. And some of this rotation here, guys, that we just looked at, um, some of that is actually coming from uh, the rear flank downdraft of this supercell. So. This, this cell right here has some outflow winds that are blowing for out from behind this supercell that's got a nice hail core in it right now, pushing back against this cell that is moving in an opposite direction. So that's how little spin-ups can happen. Um, and it would be right here near Osceola. Let me jump back through here. Is the severe storm headed to Smithton? No. It's lightening up in Mott Road. Got pretty dark for a while. What way is that storm in Osceola right now headed? It's moving northeast. So we can put, let's put a, a little. We can put a, a time stamp on this as well. So it's moving northeast. So uh, the next one's under the gun is going to be around uh, Warsaw. And Benton County will be the next ones in line. Let's put a time stamp on this for you guys. This cell is actually moving... Uh, northeast at 60 miles per hour. Wow, this thing is trucking. Boy, that wind's really howling here in Clinton. I hear it coming through the windows. Yeah, I can't get this thing to operate. Boy, this cell's really starting to wrap up down here around where Nader boys are at, down by Jericho Springs as well. Notice that dark blue hell core. Okay, so right around, we're still in this area between Vista and uh, Osceola. In this area right here that I have circled. This is kind of the area I'm keeping an eye on. i blow this out just a little bit. And if there's a... Another cell that is near Tightwad, Leesville. Um, it's going to be affecting Lincoln, Coal Camp on Benton County. So if you live in Benton County for along 65 Highway, Warsaw, 
Um, you guys are going to be under the gun here, uh, probably here in the next uh, 20 minutes or so. So be ready for that. We had somebody mention they live uh, Benton Henry County line on Z Highway. You also will be getting into some of this hail here over the next, uh, uh, probably about the next 15, 20 minutes as well. So again, right now, if you're in uh, uh, Pettis County, Sedalia, Smithton, uh, just some moderate rain, thunder uh, thunderstorms, uh, nothing severe. You are still under the tornado watch till 11 p.m. Uh, Henry County, uh, strong cell near Leesville, Tightwad. You're under the tornado watch till 11 o'clock. Of course, St. Clair County right now and Barton, uh, actually, that's down around Stockton. Uh, El Dorado Springs, Stockton, Umber Heart, or Umber View Heights. Um, this is, uh, this is a strong, this is a strong cell that's moving through Henry, or West Central Missouri. We do have a new severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Benton County, including Warsaw along Highway 65. You will likely hear my phone go off here momentarily. There's some. Sh the National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. So keep this in mind, guys. Down around Leesville and Tightwad, it's it. You see that little bowing effect right there? That little bowing area is actually producing almost uh, almost sixty mile per hour winds. So. Let's uh, let's take a look. So down around Max Camp, uh, along Highway Seven between uh, Teal Bend, Racket, Tightwad. So definitely some strong winds coming out of this little cell. Maybe some small hail to the east of Leesville. So again, we have a new severe thunderstorm warning with the same tornado possible tag. The reason why they do that, guys, is because these things can spin up very brief tornadoes. They're going to be relatively weak. But by the time they issue a tornado warning, it's too late. So um, you can treat this. What I do with my family, I treat that as similar to a tornado warning where we'll go to the lowest possible level in our house just to be safe away from windows just until the storm passes. these things are going 60 miles per hour so uh, it's not like you're going to be you're going to be in your uh, tornado safety spot for for really more than 15 20 minutes but um i always play it play it on the safe side so All right, let me jump back over here. Got so many chats and so many messages. I'm trying to keep up here. So if I haven't got to your question, I will I will get to it. Um, Roscoe raining hard. 52 West heading to Windsor. Moderate rain at the moment. West side of Clinton, a wind. Uh, direction of the one in Jericho Springs. The one in Jericho Springs right now. Which I would not be surprised if a tornado warning comes out for down around Arcola. Very strong rotation down here, just north of Umberview Heights, right here. Now a lot of that is pertaining to the updraft. It has to have strong updraft in order to support this massive hail core right now. Jericho Springs is right here, so this cell is to the east of Jericho Springs. This entire System is moving to the northeast at 60 miles per hour.
Hey, Abby. Yeah, Storm Shield, fantastic app. That's what you're listening. That's what you're listening to when it comes across there is my Storm Shield app. It follows me wherever I go as well. All right, so I'm going to jump back up here to this cell. And again, uh, you're driving along Highway 65 right in here north of Warsaw. You have some strong winds that's going to be coming out of your west. So if you're driving down 65 Highway and get hit with those winds, it will push you off onto the shoulder. So I am looking at uh, about 50 to 60 mile per hour winds right here getting ready to cross 65. So, um, and then of course we have a couple of hail cores, one right over 8th Road Bartle Scout Reservation and another one just north of Wheatland uh, along Highway 83. Several little areas of rotation as well. Most of them are associated with the strong updrafts that the low-level jet is producing right now. It's causing these these storms to to rotate. You notice all these all of these purples on these storms. We didn't have that earlier, um, and that's a good indication that low-level jet is really just now starting to wrap to to kind of wrap up now. So um, I'm gonna kind of blow this out just a little bit see what else is going on the, these here are going to be some of the storms that we are going to be watching as they move up into west central missouri here in the next couple hours that's one of the reasons why they decided to go ahead and uh, keep that tornado watch active uh if nothing seems to happen is going to be happening they will knock some of these counties off of that tornado watch so some of you might actually um, be in the clear here in the next couple hours. Track to one in Benton County. All right, I'm going to have to do a little manipulation because for some reason I could not get that to work. So give me just a moment and I will get that done. And again, I'm broadcasting down here from the emergency management office. So, um, only because as, as much lightning as we were enduring, I did not want to go live and lose power. So, we have backup generators and battery packs uh, so that uh, uh, we went through a similar situation last, last year, which I lost power uh, during the onset of some strong storms. So, I did not want that to be the case. National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. Okay, we have another warning out. We'll get to that here in just a moment. All right, so this strong cell that's coming into Benton County, uh, we're looking at White Branch in eight minutes, uh, Warsaw in nine minutes, Edwards in 11, Lakeview Heights 15, Stover in 30 minutes. That's for this very strong cell that's moving into Benton County right now. The 
National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. Okay, they've updated these severe thunderstorm warnings. Let's see what they say. Um, one inch hail, 70 mile per hour winds associated with this cell. Osceola Vista Gerster Wablo. Uh, 704 severe thunderstorms located along a line extending from near Osceola to six miles east of Stockton. Moving east at 50, 70 miles per hour winds, and quarter size hail. Um, this was a public quarter size hail and tree root was reported down near Jericho, Jericho Springs. Let's take a look at the one up here in... Okay, that is the same wording for Benton County warning as well. So, all right, jump back over here to chat. Deep water. That is correct. Um, St. Louis, and I was watching that, St. Louis had a um, radar indicated. So did Jefferson City had a radar indicated. But as far as I know right now, there has been no confirmed tornadoes yet. All right, guys, so let's, uh, I'm going to go grab a bottle of water. I'll be right back, and we'll do, um, we will do just a general recap of what we can expect, what's happening for each one of your counties. Yes, I'll add her. I noticed there's a whole bunch of people that over over the last uh, 45 minutes have applied. And I will get them added in here. So not much on National Weather Service chat. Um, there hasn't been really too much uh, too much communication on it. Holy cow, that's a lot of them. Over 430 new member requests. Holy cow. So I'm just going to approve them all. <laughs> so if you uh, if you knew somebody that uh, that had requested, I've just uh, accepted about 400 new members here at Subby's Weather Talk. So. I'm going to 
I'm going to check my All right, so let's do a little recap here for everybody. Thank you all for being patient with me tonight. Uh, lots of questions just flooding in on both on a personal on a personal uh, message as well as our chat. So here's what we've got going on. So this is our first initial line of storms that are coming through our area. It took a while for the low-level low jet to ramp up to be able to cause these cells to be able to rotate. We are seeing evidence of that now with uh, many hail reports. We have a severe thunderstorm warning for central and southern Benton County as well as central and eastern St. Clair County here in West Central Missouri. The National Weather Service has allowed the tornado watch to expire for Johnson and Cass counties for the evening. So if you live in um, in Johnson County, Warrensburg, Holden area, or Cass County, Pleasant Hill, Harrisonville, Garden City, uh, you guys are out of the severe weather threat for tonight. Now they did continue the tornado watch for Sedalia, Pettis County, Benton County, Henry County, Bates County, Vernon County, and St. Clair County till 11 o'clock tonight. Part of the reason was because of these storms that are currently moving through the area right now. And the secondary reason is they wanted to watch to see what these storms down here that are now entering into southeast Missouri, what these cells are going to do once they're interacting with that low-level jet. So, um, we're not quite out of the woods yet. We will let the National Weather Service uh, determine whether or not these cells have the potential to grow upscale into severe thunderstorms as they move off to the east along that dry line. So that is what we've got going on right now. So if it's uh, here in Clinton, um, I, it's light rain right now. Um, hear the bird chirping and a little bit of sunlight coming through the clouds. Um, we, we are pretty much done right now until we find out what these storms are going to do down here in southeast Missouri as they make their way into west central missouri so that's where we're at right now guys no no matter of fact i hadn't even got to the uh i hadn't even got to the to the worst part about this is the fact that uh some up probably a little bit further north of west central missouri might see some snowflakes tomorrow morning we're only going to be going for a high of about 49 tomorrow, guys. So, um, it's going to be quite chilly tomorrow. What time are you thinking for the next round? Well, let's just, uh, let's just kind of time this out a little bit. So these are going a little bit slower. They're going about 45 miles per hour. Let me get off of this screen. Let me go to full screen here. Okay, so if these storms continue on their current path, then we will see some of these storms enter into west central Missouri. Let's get over here. Pittsburgh at 826. 
That's Pittsburgh, Kansas. Fort Scott, 842. Lamar, 858. Rich Hill, 917. El Dorado, 927. Rockville, 932. Butler, 928. Appleton City, 941. Montrose, 948. Osceola, 955. Lowry City, 10 o'clock. Clinton, 1007. Deepwater, 10 o'clock. Calhoun, 1020. Leeton, 1023. Windsor, 1030. Warrensburg, 1032. Uh, Coal Camp, 1045. Sedalia, 1056. Smithton, 1103. And Versailles at 1106. So that's, uh, that's assuming that these cells continue in the same direction at the same speed. So that, that will be, and, and that's not, that's not uh, counting any other little cells that may pop up out ahead of this line along a boundary down here in West Central Missouri. So we have to keep that in mind as well. So we do have some pretty strong rotation down here just west of Bolivar. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. We will get to that here in just a minute. If you have any friends or family down um, along 13 Highway just north west of Bolivar, I am picking up some very strong rotation right here along with a very solid hail core. Um, that could be golf ball size hail in that area. They also have, I'm sure, they do have a tornado possible tag on this cell as well. So if you know anybody down along 13 Highway near Bolivar or north of Bolivar, say along 83 Highway, this cell is a, it's, it's a, it's a big one going to be heading your direction. As far as up here in Benton County and uh, southeast St. Clair County, not seeing too much as far as rotation other than just regular broad rotation associated with updrafts of the supercells producing some small hail Catherine is southwest of Bolivar I'm assuming she's probably chasing the storms tonight No hail in Osceola. That's surprising. Not now, but uh, when this part of the cell come over, it looked like Osceola is really going to get hit with some hail. Isaac is down here. They've moved, looks like they've moved off just a little bit. See if see if Nader boys are still. They're in Jasper.
All right, I'm going to check out Storm Prediction Center here real quick. See if they have any new wording for us. Well, they, they, uh, they're still, they're still talking about the potential of seeing these storms continuing to strengthen, which we, there's a new tornado warning down there as coming across into southeast Kansas. So these storms aren't letting up down here. So we'll continue to watch them. Take a look at this cell back over here, Oliver. Wow. <coughs> Very strong. Very strong rotation down here, right over Bolivar right now. Catherine's, Catherine seen Isaac a little bit ago. So anybody down, or knows anybody down around Bolivar, this is not Tornado Warren, but man, that's got some, that's got some very impressive, let's take a look at that hell core. Holy cow, that thing's got to be solid gray. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely golf ball size hill, if not bigger, down going across 13 Highway. I would hate to be driving across 13 Highway right now. Wow. Third's uh, Brandon Coppock. Let's see if we can catch his stream. He's looking right at this cell along 13. I'll mute his stream here. The National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. This is Brandon that we're seeing right here that I'm got my cursor over. That's his stream. We got some more storm chasers along the side of the road there watching this storm. We'll come back to him in just a moment. So it looks like the strongest part of the storms here in West Central Missouri looks to be along 7 Highway, um, just west of Climax Springs. Got a nice hail core there, maybe up to quarter size hail. Along 7 Highway, southeast of Warsaw, near Climax Springs. One point seven five inch golf ball size hail, seventy mile per hour winds. Emergency management for Benton County reported quarter size hail and sixty miles per hour. All right, guys, so a little recap. So um, I, I, I'm going to do a recap again. I've, I've mentioned this several uh, several times just to let you guys know. I know we get, some, we, get, we get some people in here that maybe came in here toward the end of the stream. Um, so I'll do a little recap. So 
Uh, right now, Benton County has the strongest sell right now as far as here in West Central Missouri. They are under a severe thunderstorm warning for 60 mile per hour winds and golf ball size hail. The strongest part of this cell is down near Climax Springs right along 7 Highway. Now for those in Vernon, St. Clair, Henry, Bates, Pettis, we are still under a tornado watch until 11 o'clock. Now just because it you're seeing a rainbow and the sun is out. What we are concerned about is going to be for these storms down here entering uh, southeast Kansas. They are actually moving northeast and will be affecting west central Missouri from around the 9 to 11 p.m. range. So... Um, that is the reason why the National Weather Service has continued the tornado watch for these areas, seeing what these storms are going to do. If they're going to kind of weaken, or if they're going to continue to get enhanced by that low-level jet that's causing these storms to, to rotate and create strong updraft producing gorilla hail. This... This cell down here near Bolivar, man, I, I I wish we had somebody that lived down in that area. That is some monster hell, guys. We're probably talking uh, baseball size, if not bigger, just northeast of Bolivar right now. Man, that is just monster, monster cell. And I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to turn something on here so we can... Uh, I'm anxious to see what that what that's actually going to say. Give me one minute here. There we go. Look at this, guys. Hail probability 100%. Severe hail probability 100%. Four inch hail. We are talking uh, tennis ball to softball size hail. Wow. That's impressive cell right there. And that is northeast of Bolivar. Yes, I will be going live once once we get these cells, uh, once we get these cells out of uh, out of Benton County, then I will probably sign off. Uh, I'm gonna grab me a bite to eat. I'm gonna head home, let the dog go out, and uh, and then I'll be watching these cells down here. As they, uh, as they make their way into West Central Missouri. So, yes, I will be going live again as soon as I get these cells here um, out of Benton County or when they allow this severe thunderstorm warning to expire for Benton County. And uh, I, will, I will be coming back on from, uh, from the weather station there at my house. Scroll this out just a little bit. And we do have uh, we do have potential to see these storms if they if they continue to get into West Central Missouri to weaken. They may go ahead and cancel the tornado watch for parts of 
of this area. But as the night goes on, that low-level jet is just going to continue to strengthen and enhance. I noticed some of these storm chasers are kind of moving a little bit over toward the Springfield area. Yeah, for those of you that uh, that live uh, really anywhere around the Kansas City area, there was a couple strong storms that uh, that caused a severe thunderstorm warning up here just north of St. Joe earlier uh, around the 2 o'clock time frame. But for the most part, this low-level jet, um, that's what I was going to do. Let me, let me show you guys this before... We move on here just to kind of explain just a little bit what I'm talking about. I have to go to a different software. And if if you guys go to my, uh, if you guys go to either Subby's Weather Talk or you go to uh, Subby's Weather Talk.com or if you go to my YouTube channel, you will see what I put out for Torcon, which is a kind of a, uh, nationwide group that I am part of and I put out a video kind of highlighting that it was you know all, all the conditions are set up and we have to treat this um, with seriousness with the setup that we had today um, and especially from Storm Prediction Center National Weather Service all hinting as a very volatile day however whenever you're associated with this warm front that I got my cursor on Whenever you're associating with a warm front, it gets messy, and that's exactly what happened today. A lot, you know, a lot of rain, a lot of thunderstorms. It's just you don't get those discrete thunder uh, thunderstorms. Now, notice out ahead, this one in Jeff City, the one in St. Louis, those were all individual discrete thunderstorms that actually sparked a couple tornado warnings. So um, it was kind of messy. And my my highlight was going to be down here in central Oklahoma, uh, what I put in my in my video forecast. Um, but uh, of course, when when they're talking about strong tornadoes, this thing only they only put out that kind of wording a couple times a year nationwide, and we were actually underneath of it. Um, but that low level jet just took its sweet time to get nosing up here into our area. So they really didn't start to rotate until they got to about the uh, about the Butler Henry uh, Benton County line, and then they really started to rotate down here to the south. And of course, we got the powerhouse of a supercell down here near halfway now, that's producing some four-inch softball-sized hail down in that area. So I'm sure we'll see several storm reports down here. Uh, I have not seen any storm reports yet from that county, but they're still showing four-inch hail down uh, just northeast of Bolivar. But, yeah, for those of you uh, around the Kansas City area, uh, Cass County, uh, Lafayette County, Jackson County, there wasn't much going on up there except just regular good old springtime thunderstorms. Now, granted, we need the rain. We definitely needed the rain here in west central Missouri and I uh, I don't know what my rain gauge is going to tell me at home but I'm I'm kind of guessing we had uh, uh, we had three quarter of an inch to an inch probably at least so let me show you when I'm talking about this low level jet and this will help you guys when I go to explain this in the future too because I've I've touched on this uh, touched on this a few times um, I'm going to go to the short term and we're going to take a look at this. So, I'm going to move this over here, let you guys take a look what I'm looking at. So, let me put this into motion. Okay, you guys, this is your low pressure system right here. And, you know, earlier, like last week, all the way up through a couple days ago, this thing was had what's called a ski jump. Nice, smooth, very strong winds up in here. 
Okay, now it had weakened some yesterday out ahead of this thing, and that kind of got, got us thinking that this thing's not quite as strong as what we kind of projected, but Storm Prediction Center continued to put some strong wording out there for us. But if you notice where the dark reds are, okay, coming right up through West Central Missouri. Now, in the previous model runs, it showed this dark red nosing right up into West Central Missouri around 4 or 5 o'clock. And what that does, that brings wind, very, very strong winds, way up above us, okay, at 18,000 feet. This is the 500 millibar chart. So 18,000 feet above our heads, we're going to have, it was projecting winds yesterday of, of well over 100 mile an hour coming from the, from the southwest, okay. And then we take a look at our lower level winds. And you notice we 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 really did not get into much of the lower level winds. You know, little fingers here and there, and where you see this right here, where that pink is right here, that's down around Bolivar right now. And that's where they're having some four inch hail. So we did not see that in the hours prior. We we just saw little bits and pieces. Um, of some lower level winds, but um, boy, the last couple of days it showed strong influx of lower level winds coming coming into us from a different direction. When you have those two winds coming from different directions, you have wind shear, and that's where you get rotating thunderstorms. So um, that's kind of the reason why these things stay pretty tame today, outside of. Uh, just a few, just a handful of severe thunderstorm warnings for West Central Missouri. And actually, for as high as the risk for tornado threat, we, we did not so far get any reports of funnel clouds, tornadoes. Um, there was a couple over, one by St. Louis and another one by Jeff City that prompted a tornado warning. But other than that, it's been relatively tame. So we are going to be watching for these cells coming up for round two into West Central Missouri. It will definitely add on to our rainfall totals, and uh, we may have to, uh, we may be getting into some flooding concerns along some uh, some creeks and rivers around West Central Missouri after this next line moves through. Bring chat back up here. Is it past cold camp? It is past cold camp. Cold camp sits right up here. Um, I know that's my family's old stomping grounds up there in cold camp. Where my mother and father were born. Actually just a little bit east of cold camp. Um, my father grew up in Lakeview Heights, which is just east of Cold Camp. But yes, it is east of Cold Camp now. So you're going to be in a waiting game as well as the rest of us for these cells out in Kansas. Um, take a look at this cell here. No hail indicated. So looks like for the most part, um... Benton County is pretty much in the clear. Uh, just some torrential rainfall along 65 Highway and 7 Highway in southeastern Benton County. But for the most part, Benton County is pretty much in the clear right now. So, one of my buddies, let's check out this cell down here that's uh, coming into, uh, let's see, that's very north central Oklahoma going into 
uh, into it onto the Kansas side. Let's take a look at this here real quick. He said it's pretty interesting. Very strong rotation down here. So let's take a look at velocity radar. Yeah, I, I see two actually. But this is the strongest one right down here. Very strong rotation down here that is moving off to the northeast prompting a tornado warning down in Oklahoma. I also see another one down here uh, near Cleveland, Oklahoma. And that is an observed tornado down in Oklahoma, actually. Very interesting. We're back up to four inch hail. Um, getting ready to cross 65 Highway north of Buffalo. 100% chance of severe hail. Four inch in diameter. Softball size hail. All right, guys. So we've got uh, we've got about an hour, hour and a half. Before these storms begin to uh, affect West Central Missouri. Uh, right now, looks like uh, we timed this out. It was around, uh, well, let's just do that before we go. Let's just take a look at what this cell, see if it's sped up any. Got one inch hail in that one, actually. So, let's put a timestamp on that. Let's see, you're moving northeast at 35. This one is uh, 35. Okay, so let's, uh, we got a couple new tornado warnings, or an extension of a tornado warning. All right, so let's put a timestamp on these cells here. All right, so here's uh, here's a potential time frame for these cells down here to be affecting West Central Missouri. Let's get over here to the Missouri side. Pittsburgh, Kansas, 848. Iola, 855. And then we get over on the Missouri side, Lamar, 929. Nevada, 938. Rich Hill, 955. Amsterdam, 1005. Butler, 1011. Adrian, 1022. Appling City, 1026. Montrose, 1034. Collins, 1041. Garden City, 1047. Deepwater, 1050. Brownington, 1053. Clinton, at 1058. Uh, Chihaui, Tightwad, 1110, Leeton, 1120, and Centerview at 1124. So that kind of, and, and that is not including any cells that may form out ahead of this system, guys. So, uh, but for the most part, we have about, uh, about an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so before these, uh, these next uh, these next cells will affect us and for those that are down here they just issued a tornado warning uh, for down south of Lewisburg north of Buffalo where they've been reporting that four inch hail along 65 highway that is now a tornado warning it is radar indicated Central Dallas, East Central Polk, 
in Laclee County in southwest Missouri. So, uh, those of you down, uh, down, if you know anybody might be down there around, uh, around Lebanon or Venice Springs, uh, make sure they know you've got large hail, damaging winds, and a possible tornado heading in their direction. It's never good when you have wording of tornado and baseball-sized hail. That's never a good thing. But for the most part, um, here in Benton County, that's where the strongest cell has been down in southeast Benton County right now. Um, not seeing anything to worry about. Just some very torrential rainfall along 7 Highway near Climax Springs. And here in the next, uh, oh, probably 20 minutes or so, it will be out of the county. So I'm not seeing anything to worry about here in Benton County. So right now, guys, we are in the clear outside of this cell still in southeast Benton County. So uh, I am going to go ahead and sign off for now. Grab me a bite to eat. I will go back to the homestead. And I will likely just go ahead and go live here probably in about uh, 30 to 45 minutes. And we'll track these storms as they head up into West Central Missouri. And we'll get a, uh, um, we'll get an idea of, of what's going to happen tonight. Now you notice these cells are moving northeast. A lot of times, just to let you guys know, a lot of times as these storms are moving to the northeast, and you see these storm tracks all pointing to the northeast, sometimes when they get up into this area that has already received rainfall, a little bit cooler, dew points are a little lower, they tend to kind of straighten out and move more to the east instead of the northeast. So there is still potential that as these storms continue to strengthen, they take more of an easterly track and pretty much uh, kind of escape most of West Central Missouri. But um, we'll, we'll wait and find out. Um, just looking back on chat real quick. Making sure we got everything answered. Hey, we got a video of Hale and Bolivar. I want to see this. Jump back over here. Looking here to see if there's something cool to show you guys. And again, if you know anybody down uh, down around the Buffalo, Lewisburg, Lebanon, Laclede County, they are under a tornado warning down there. And three to four inch hail as well. Oh my goodness, look at some of all these pictures. Beautiful pictures you guys have sent in of rainbows. Some beautiful pictures on our Facebook site. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go run, grab a bite to eat. Um, I will be updating. I will be going live again here in about uh, uh, here in about 30, 45 minutes. We'll take a look at what these cells are going to do down to our southwest. 
and uh, and then I, uh, I I do believe I've got some great video shots and a few pictures to share with you guys of these uh, cells down here to the south uh, down around the uh, Bolivar area so uh, I will be talking to everybody soon if you have any questions feel free shoot it over to me on uh, shoot it over to me on messenger and I will get those answered when we go back live again here uh, in about 30 45 minutes Talk to everybody soon.